Wow. As you look through the grass, you'll see a few little ears. And those belong to a hyena. <laughs> Tricky. Oh, there you are. Hello. Yes, we're talking about you. And I'm glad you popped your head up because there's lots of people that were very, very excited to see you. Where are the rest of your clan members, though? Are there any more hiding in this long grass, or is it just you here alone? As Jamie said, they do live in groups, which are called clans, and they can be very big, especially here in the Masai Mara. They can have families as big as 100 or 120. So very complex families. You can imagine having so many brothers and sisters. The meal times can get interesting. The sharing the rooms can get interesting. So they live very interesting lives, the hyena. But they're mostly active at night, especially in this area and in the early morning. And that's what this one's waiting for. It's just relaxing, waiting for the cover of darkness before it goes out and looks for food. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking that the hyena can only scavenge food, but that's not true. They're also very good hunters. And Angie's just answered what, asked, what do the hyenas eat? So you asked at a good time. They eat just about anything meaty, whether it's leftover scraps from a lion or a leopard kill or fresh meat that they've killed themselves, but they really are not fussy. They'll eat even rotting meat, which is... Ugh, even the smell of it will make us feel sick, but they manage to eat it, so they do a good job in cleaning up all the leftover meat that none of the other animals want to eat out here. And that's very important because if carcasses and dead bodies of the animals that die were just left lying around, that would open up room for diseases and sicknesses. So they do a very good job in keeping the bushveld clean. Ah, oh, thank you for getting up. Now you can see its spots, which give it its name, the spotted hyena. And Elaine would like to know if the hyenas will hunt at night, and the answer to that is yes, mainly at night, but all of the pred predators really prefer night, well not all of them, but most of them prefer hunting at night when they have the cover of darkness, when their eyes work better than that of the animals that they are trying to catch. Having said that though, they can still hunt during the day. And maybe that's where this one's off to, to look for a meal. But if we look ahead of it, it doesn't seem to be too much ahead of it. Hello to Brayden. You'd like to know how many hyenas could you expect to find in a clan? Well, it's a tricky question to answer. They've got lots of different size clans all over Africa. Here where we are, they get very big, so 30, 40, 50, up to 100 in some cases. But usually it's smaller, about 10 to 15, I would say, would be an average size of a clan. But there's no set rule out here in nature. And they make their own rules and often keep us guessing as to what they usually do. They often keep us keep surprising us by doing new things or us learning new things by spending more time with them. Whew, it's getting hot now that the sun's out. This area that we're driving through had some rain earlier, so the smell is beautiful. Everything is fresh and clean, and the grass smells very tasty. I almost feel like I could be a cow because... I mentioned to Senza earlier that I would like to eat some, it smells so good. But maybe that's just because I've spent the day out in the long hot sun and I'm going a bit mad.